But radiation comes in other forms as well. Like during the 1991 Gulf War and the war in Kosovo, depleted uranium rounds were used again by the U.S. military, this time including the center of Baghdad. They lie around for anyone to see and touch. A Geiger counter will give a reading of between 5 and 15 pulses per minute in a typical environment. This depleted uranium round will trigger 10,000 pulses in about 40 seconds. This type of ammunition is radioactive because it is made of nuclear waste referred to as uranium-238 or depleted uranium. This material is left over from the processing of uranium-234 used for atomic bombs and uranium-235 used in nuclear power plants. Long considered toxic garbage, it found an extremely controversial application in the making of cheap, high perforation shells. Uranium-238 remains radioactive for four and a half billion years, and its toxicity reveals itself as soon as particles are inhaled or ingested. Cancer and birth defects are the most common side effects. The United States uh, military forces used 320 tons of depleted uranium um, in the first Gulf War in 1991. The difference between the first Gulf War and the second Gulf War is very significant, and that is that in the second war, we have seen a lot more depleted uranium use in populated areas, in urban centers, um, American planes, A-10 Warthog planes that used, that used DU rounds, the 30 millimeter DU rounds, um, fired at, at targets in cities. These particular rounds were found inside the compound of one of Saddam Hussein's palaces in Baghdad. This compound is now guarded by American soldiers who are totally unaware of the contamination.